hi very casual very casual video but um due to some people not making it to class on wednesday and this coming wednesday being when we are finishing out the stuff for your nutrition diary um i wanted to make a quick video I will be posting this at the same time as posting an Excel sheet that I made for those who want to use it. On Wednesday, I was talking about the tracking of the nutrition and all the stuff for your food. <laughs> Sorry. And in, in class, I had just put it all in a Word document. And then I said, wow, if I had been thinking ahead of time, I would have made an Excel sheet. So I made one. And that's what I'm going to cover right now. So. For those of you who don't like Excel sheets, sorry, they are super easy though. I made this. Notice the first one says tracking. And so this is the blank document where it's telling you this is nutrition tracking. You put your food here, the serving size, the number of servings, and then all your info. Notice there's a lot of different bits of info. Some tell you the amounts, some tell you the percents. I did it this way because when you're looking at various nutrition labels, um, a lot of these will tell you just the percent. Sometimes it will tell you the actual amount. More often than not, it's just the percent. Typically, these will show you the amounts. And so I, I did it this way. Um, this is like an expanded version. You will not find all of this on all your labels. So you just do the best you can. Now, since I am a person who works best from example, I also have an example tab. So I put in a lot of the same stuff that um, I talked about in class. So we have, if you click here, you'll see the whole thing. Oikos triple zero, serving size, one container. I had one. And then you notice I've got my calories, fat, saturated fat. There's none, so there's nothing there. And I put all these things. And that's where I ended. Because the little thing I had didn't tell me any of this. So I left it here. Then I had my Vital Farm eggs. Um, I said eggs. It said egg. I got stumped for a second. But then I realized, hey, it's fine. Because a serving size is one. But I had two. So this right here is to remind you that if you say you have two servings, when you calculate, you're going to need to multiply it by two. This is literally one serving. So you have options here. You can either enter it like this, which is what I did, because I like to be able to just come back here and copy and paste and then adjust it however I need but if you're not going to do that here, you would have typed in 140 because that would be two servings. Follow me on that. Um, so again, just filled it in. Nature's own whole wheat bread, same thing. Filled in all my stuff. Um, okay. I think I must've made a typo in class when I did the sodium because I think I had it way higher than this. And even though this would be times two, that would only make it 250. And I think I might have accidentally hit an extra zero when I did it. So um, it's not as bad. My Morningstar Farm sausage is worse. See, 300. But notice I'm starting to get more, more information. So this is telling me this. This is what I thought was so cool. 130% of your vitamin B12. If you have ever heard people talking about B12 being great for energy and all that stuff, um, my Morningstar Farm products tend to be high. Now, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, 130%, that's too much. What you have to remember is on the nutrition label, you have that bold line, which is where I put the extra, but good to know. What's above it is don't go over. What's below it is at least. Um, you want these numbers to get up there for your percents. And so like this, riboflavin, this is a good choice for my riboflavin. It's 20% of my daily, but I need more. Somebody in class asked me about my iodine. Oh, iodine's not on this one. It's phosphorus. Iodine is on my next one. And uh, see right there, 15% iodine. 
it was driving me nuts that the things I was using didn't have a whole lot. It didn't have everything. So I decided to use one of my snacks. You've heard me talk about Huel. Huel is a company that has plant-based protein products. They actually have some that's supposed to be all of the nutrients and all these things. I would love to try this new product they have, but it contains mushrooms, so I can't. But when I was planning for surgery and I was trying to prepare myself, I ordered some of the Huel Complete Nutrition Bars. And, oh my God, it's like a candy bar to me. I flip and love them. I am not going to eat it every single day because you don't need to, you know, do some healthy food. But I do use these a bit. And whenever I'm just like really craving, wanting just candy, a candy bar or something like that, I have one of these instead. So I decided to give you the information. Now, if you go onto their website, they have four different nutrition bars. Um, I've bought them all and I'm honestly considering bringing one of them into class on Monday. We'll see if I remember because I knew I was going to like, or was pretty sure I was going to like three of the four. The fourth one, I was pretty sure I was not going to like, but it seems silly to try all but one. And that one is like a chocolate brownie something or other. I'm just not that big of a fan of a lot of chocolate. It's just not my thing. Um, anyway. So I decided to do the chocolate caramel version because there's different ones. Notice it's one bar, one serving, 180 calories. Um, there's fat, there is saturated fat, and there is polyunsaturated and monounsaturated. These are very good fats for us right here. And no cholesterol, low sodium. And we've got six grams of fiber. Two grams of sugar, zero added sugar. We know I harp about that all the time. 13 grams of protein for this one bar. But look at all this. Oh my gosh, we've got everything listed on this. That made me so happy. So it really does have a whole lot of goodness in there. Am I saying you need to eat it? No, I'm just telling you, you do have options. They actually have a, um, oh, what do they call it? Maybe they call it chocolate peanut butter or peanut or something. I don't know. It's, well, let me preface this to say I have not had an actual Snickers bar in over a year. So it's probably not exactly like a Snickers bar, but it made me feel like I had a Snickers bar. And so that was pretty cool. Um, this is what you would do. Now, if I was going to look at just these four items, notice, yeah, I didn't put the berries in here. And I wanted to say how many calories I had. We know that this is 90, but this needs to be times two and this needs to be times two. So I have options again. Like I said, I could have just filled it in like that normally. You can manually do it or you can do this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go copy. I'm going to go paste. And then I am going to do this. Um, yeah. Hmm. Some. No, not some. Sorry, I'm thinking through the best way to do this. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm putting something in between them. And... Da, 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 da. I want to insert a column. That's what it was. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to do this, this times two. And then if you take this and drag it down, it automatically multiplies all those by two. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. Equal click asterisk two. So that means I'm taking that cell, multiplying it by two equal. Then if you click here, grab that little corner and come all the way down, that automatically does it. So now what I'm going to do, so I don't forget which ones I want, I'm going to do this, 
color, this color. And now if I want to know for breakfast, I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to say breakfast totals. And then equal sum open parentheses. I'm going to click. Um, for the Mac, I press the command key. In order to do this, I think it might be the little window key for Windows. You might have to play with it, but you hold it when you click on the different things. So I go click, click, and then close the parentheses. That's how many calories. And hmm, I'm going to see if this works. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I lined everything up properly. Did it do it? So let's see, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it did it. So there you go. So here are my things for... And if I don't feel like doing the rest, I'm going to go copy, paste. There we go. That means for breakfast, I had 400 calories, 15 grams of fat, three grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, three and a half grams of polyunsaturated fat, five grams of monounsaturated fats, 380 milligrams cholesterol, 750 milligrams sodium, a little high. 28 grams total carbs, three grams fiber. So this should tell you I need more fiber. But then again, I also had all the berries that I didn't include here and that would have been where my fiber came from. Five grams total sugar, zero added sugar and 44 grams of protein. That is a little high on protein right there. Um, I didn't realize I had that much, but I guess, yeah. Now I'm like, hmm, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 35. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's more protein than I need in a meal. Because if you remember, you're supposed to shoot for no more than 30 grams of protein. But again, I'm also healing from surgery. So maybe this isn't bad. Uh, but that tells me right there, I need to... I need to be careful about that. I need to pay more attention because that is way more protein than I need in one sitting because your body typically can't process more than 30 grams of protein at a time. So that should be split up. So I'm actually really happy I just did this example because that is too much. Now, do you have to do it this way? No, you don't. But I like making it easy to calculate and making it do everything for me. And so that's how I do it. Um, there you go. So what I would suggest is whatever works best for you to make sure that you've got all your foods figured out. Um, we will talk about it again, Monday in class, but Wednesday is when we are doing the official energy budget. We are going to do the whole thing to you're calculating your own stuff. The reason we're doing this is that nutrition diary you're supposed to have been keeping up with this entire term. This goes in there. There was a lot of confusion on Wednesday for those who made it to class. And I want to make sure you understand all of that information you've been collecting for the term. You're not turning all that in. You are looking at your information and you're learning from it. You're telling me what you learned. I don't need to go through your data. I do not need just all this cluster everything. What I need from you is this is how I was eating at the beginning of the term and this is how I was feeling. I don't need, I ate this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Tell me what, you know, did you have lots of sugar? Did you have lots of fat? Did you have lots of water? Did you have lots of protein? Did you have almost no protein? Did you have almost no water? Were you all carbs, you know? How are you feeling? I want you to tell me what you notice in the thing I don't want, you know, five, six weeks of just random data because collecting the data doesn't mean squat. 
understanding and learning from your data, that's what I want to see. So I want your observations about it. I just need enough information to know why you're saying what you're saying. Then you're going to put all that together. And then Wednesday, when we do this energy budget and your nutrition, you're going to calculate if you're actually getting enough calories versus your activities, what this means. And I want you to look at the nutrition profile of your choices and tell me what you found. Have you improved? Where can you improve? How are you doing? How are you feeling? That kind of thing. This is all extremely personal. But I would suggest you work right now to start getting your write up ready because this is all due by Thursday. And we will talk on Monday about the importance of this and we will talk again Wednesday. But it's time. And so I recommend, highly recommend, utilize the Excel sheet if it helps you. If you've got your own method and it works for you, go for it. It's fine because you're not turning in either of these. This stuff is for you to help you calculate. I only am concerned with the overall and your feedback. I don't want a bunch of BS in there. I don't want you to attempt to impress me. I want to see that you have thought and you have some kind of understanding. That's why this is worth 30% of your grade. I need to know what you learned. This is better than a test. This is better than a quiz. This is better than an in-class assignment. This is your chance to show me that you understand. That's it. So if you have questions, write them down and be ready. And on Monday, we will cover all the questions in class, but they need to be very specific. And you have to listen when I am answering the question. Because there's a whole lot of a random question asked, and then I'm trying to answer it, and then there's a cluster talking, and I have to keep raising my voice, and then I end up saying the same thing 8,027,000 times. So go through it, try to formulate your thoughts, write down very specific questions, and in class, ask those questions and listen. Do not try to do other things at the same time. If you have a question, ask it. Listen to the answer and ask for clarification if you need it. I have no problem clarifying everything I possibly can, but you have to do your part of listening when I am answering the question. Um, so that's pretty much it. And got big news and stuff on Monday, and I'm going to post an announcement about that. So Hopefully this helps and um, yeah, good luck. Peace.